Three years after The Girl Next Door, Alicia Cuthbert finally stars in her very first horror film. But is it any good? Let's find out, shall we? Captivity. So Captivity stars Alicia Cuthbert as a model who goes to a uh, club one night uh, to have a drink and relax after a hard day's work with her and her dog. She ends up being drugged by this unknown person and ends up being taken captive in this weird abandoned, seemingly abandoned area. But what we come to find out there is a second person down there as well and they him and her have to band together to figure out how to get out of there alive and bond a little bit more and what I think about this movie is I like it it is a very suspenseful little thriller it's not scary but it is a nice suspenseful thriller it is has kind of an edge on your seat thriller but not that much but I like it okay I like the simple premise of it it's short enough. It's only like 81, 82 minutes long. That's not long at all. It gets straight to the point and then it gets out. That's what I like about it. That's what I like in my thrillers. I like that. I like to get in and get out. Okay? Not too much over explanation bullshit. Just get me in there and get me out. And that's what this movie does. Now, Alicia Cuthbert, when this movie first came out, this had, this was heavily panned by critics, okay? They even get, tried to give Alicia Cuthbert a Raspy Award. I'm like, for what? She barely acted in this movie. And what she does, she sounds just like she did in The Girl Next Door. She sounds just like a little girl anyways when she talks. So, what do you mean? She, worst actress ever. She was never bad. <laughs> I mean, you gotta suck completely hard to earn one of those, okay? Thankfully, thankfully, she lost to Lindsay Lohan. That is a worst actress. Lindsay Lohan is a worst actress, okay? Not Alicia Cuthbert. <laughs> so, yeah. But, uh... The other, the other guy in the movie, he's not terrible. But, uh... He serves his purpose well, I guess you could say. Now, of course, there is a... A major twist, if you will, in the story. Involving the killer as when he was a kid and his mom wasn't all up to par and he basically killed his mom. Yeah, that was pretty interesting to look at. Okay, and when the, the twist does happen, you're like, now I get it. Now I get it. Because it, it is a little bit kind of easy, a little bit too easy in certain cases. And when you find out why it's easy in certain cases, you'll be like, okay, now it makes a lot of sense. But uh, not very much to say about this movie other than watch it. It is a very entertaining movie. Well, except for one scene which I did not like involving two shotguns. Yeah, uh, I don't like that. I do not like it. When you see the movie, you'll know what I'm talking about. But other than that, I'm going to give Captivity a B. A very interesting, good movie. Not not too terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible, like all the critics were saying. This is why I usually say, fuck the critics. Let me know what you guys think about Captivity down below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? And I'll see you guys in the next one.